Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Kenny Gisher and I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on my uh, foundation stuff and how I do it. And uh, this is basically for people that have never done something like this before. Just search up foundation studios on Google and then you'll find this up. Uh, when you find it on the internet browser, it will not work out as good. It's not really updated to how it is on Google Chrome. So you have to access it on Chrome. Um, so, before we continue, before we get started, I'm going to show you what to type in in your computer. So, go to google.com. Basically, this is the home area of Google. You want to type in Soundation. And you have to find Soundation Studios. Mu make music online. Yeah, so all you have to do is just invite, just get logged in, and that's how you do it. It's simple and easy as pie. But, now that I showed you what to type in, it's time to get to work on my newest song. So I have a new song already up, uh, already downloaded, so we're going to make a new song, and basically since we're only using like my instrument channel, we're going to delete all of these other channels. All you have to do is right click and then click delete channel, and it'll delete it for you. So, yeah, you can just click everything like that until there's only one section or two sections left. So I'm just going to click all these things to delete them. Now let's add another instrument channel. You can also do them an audio channel. And all you have to do is basically click these like uh, these folders and they'll have different like audio sounds that you can actually use, use in your song. But right now we're just going to focus on the drum machine. So we're going to click on the drum machine. You can basically screw around. That's whatever you want to. There's kit, se kit 6, kit 7, kit Aids and then kit nine. We're gonna do a kick kit. Let's just click it on kit, kit, kit eight. So you click where you want to put a drum and sound. First, you have to actually, um, before that happens, you have to actually, um, uh, click this to change the uh, the tempo of the track. Right now, it's 125 beats per minute, but since we're making a rap. Yep, so we need to make it down into the low 90s. So we're going to put it at 92 beats per minute. So now we're at 92 beats per, yeah, per minute and per minute. And if you want to actually click a new, if you want to click, click on how to make the magic happen, all you have to do is left click in the foundation profile page or just left click it. There we go. So right here we have this keyboard and it'll play a bunch of different drum tunes. And since we're in kit 8, we had to head down to where it says C3. So, right here is C3, and you click on it, a bass will happen. Let me just, uh, let me make sure the volume's on. Yeah, so right, if you hear that snare, that's the section that you want. If you, you want to do kit 6, it's right there, sorry for fretting. <laughs> uh, kit, it, um... 6 is down here where C1 is, C2 is for kit 7, C3 is for kit 8, and 6 in kit, in C4, or is kit 9. So we're going to stay in kit, um, 8 right here, which is down here. You should, always, you should get lost or we're going to go, just click on until you hear a sound. Okay, guys, I'll be back. I got her to go do something. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go do something. So, um, so back to what I was saying. Right here, you have a little bit of a sound right here. She hears sounds and you get lost and you don't know where to go. Just, just fiddle around with the key, e keyboard until you find a sound like this. Like, and hear the snare, hear the clap, hear the clap again. And that's basically how you keep track. So, first we're going to start off. We're going to move this back to the start right here. Here, let me just scoot my chair back right there. That's a step stool because I'm still in the basement bar where I recorded my last episode. So, so first we're going to add a base. If you want to add a base, click the pencil icon. And then just click on where you want to put it. And there you put it right there. Here, I did the same thing on stop, drop, and roll. And uh, if you want to add a drum beat, right here you have a little drum, 
if you wanna, if you wanna see if it actually works good. We're gonna put the first drum right there, so that's our drum beat. So let's play it back to see if it actually works good. All right, let me just let me just re, let me just put it back here. There we go. So we got a little bit of a drum beat right there. Now, if you want to add, if you want to have a clap, if you want to have add a clap, you just have to do something like this. This is the clap. This is the snare. So, actually, let's move this. Let's move the snare because I actually want to have like the snare like right next to the clap. So we're gonna. If you want to delete stuff, basically, all you have to do is double click the. Uh, you, all you have to do is click. You have to right click it and then delete it, and then I'll delete it for you. So we're gonna have a first beat right here, and we're gonna have a clap. If you wanna, if you wanna make it like easier to actually know what to do, just make clicking noises with your mouth, and it'll help you if you do it. So right here, we just have a, we have the snare right here, and then here's the clap. So first, they're gonna have it again. So this is again. I'm gonna stop talking so I can actually let you guys hear it. There we go. So we got that. Now you wanna actually add like a little bit of a ticking sound, like the hi hat right there, like the little like drum right there. If you want to do that, um, click right above the clap sound is. You should see like the keyboard. You could just come look at the keyboard to see if it actually uh to help you a little bit. So right here you have a little bit of a. So right here's the bass. There, here's the um, the snare, and then here's the clap. Oh no, that's not the clap. This is the clap. This is what the hat hat is. So basically, right here, you click it again, and it'll click it for you. And you basically, if you want to have it like an entire waist throughout, like the like the bar, you can have it like this, and you can just keep on clicking. And this is basically if you want to actually have like a. Uh, like a rap song and if you want to record stuff you can just click like the red button right there like the little orange orange uh, button you see right up there where it says record that's how you can record your, your voice and basically you have to have a microphone so if you have like a huge pc it'll not work so you have to have a microphone like my laptop does so we're gonna put all these little hi-hats right here there's a little bit of a titter tatter sound like you hear those like like those tuck some like drums inside of a song. That's the hi hat that we're adding in right now. Oh, and if you want to have have something like that, you can do the same thing. Uh, right here, you, here's the end. If it stops right here, it's fine. That's the end of the first bar. So, right here, you can uh, have another clap. I'm gonna add two more things right here. Let's see how it sounds. So here's how it sounds. Here's how it sounds. So there we go, we got a little bit of a drum pattern right there. Now, all you have to do, after you do that, you can exit out by press, like pressing the X button. Then we're, now we're going to drag it all the way to the end of the song. So, we're going to drag it all the way here. This is basically like a tutorial. I'm not actually doing this for a song or anything. This is basically like, this is like a tutorial, like show you how to actually do like, um, like, like how to make songs. Now we're going to actually add it right here. If you want to know what the time is, just if you if you click it, if you left click this, it'll change it to like digi codes right here. But yeah, I actually turn into a full on stopwatch right there. And that stopwatch will keep on continuing after you finish after the instrumental stops. But if you want to keep on going, you just click just drag it again. So basically we have like a little bit of a three minutes twenty eight seconds song right here. So right there, there's that. So now I'm gonna drag this back here. We're actually gonna drag this all the way back. I'm actually gonna try to see if I can actually do this like a little bit of a freestyle. I'm not gonna freestyle in the camera because that's probably gonna be embarrassing. That's only for my song. So let's see how far. Uh, so let's see how long this freestyle is. So you have 224, and now we're at 226. So there's our beat right there. There's a little bit of a drum pattern. Now we're actually gonna head into the next part, which is adding at. Which is adding audio channel channels, and after this, I'm going to show you how to do fade outs of your song. So right here, we have a little bit of an audio channel. You click this, 
If you want to add a channel, you can press the plus button right here, which is right next to add channel, and it'll help you do it. And you can uh, keep on clicking until you have enough. So right there. So now we're going to click on the hip hop starter kit. There's a bunch of different uh, kits that you do. There's starter kits, but mostly we're going to use this the hip hop one. So here, here we have a little bit of a brief brock. We're going to actually try to see if we can actually get some sense inside. So... So there's a little heart right there. Yeah, let's try this one. So now this is loading in. So right after that, we have, it says right here, uh, this, um, uh, right here we have, um, it says right here, file the song, uh, is not the same tempo as your song. Um, would you like the time stretch or pitch to fit the, uh, it is. So, um, yeah, this will happen a lot when you actually want to have like a song right here. If you want to have something like this, that's like a, out of beat, it'll actually have come up with this message. Um, our freestyle right here is 92 beats per minute. All the loops in this folder are 90 beats per minute, as it says on this label right here. So, we can either pitch it or time stretch it. I'm just going to press pitch right there. So, now we can drag it all the way to the end of the song. And if you're doing something like a freestyle or something, um, if you want to actually, uh, record your voice, all you have to do is basically, um, um, all you have to do is click on this channel, and then you press the record button, right there, and it'll say it allowed you to use the, use the microphone, but that's not what we're doing. So, yeah, that's basically how to add a microphone, now we're gonna add an instrumental fade out. So, I'm gonna press this button, I'm gonna delete this run. Because we're going to add in a master channel. If you want to add the master channel, press the zero key on your keyboard. And there you go. That's how you add a master channel. So this is the channel that we're going to use to make the fade, to make the fade out. So we're going to all head all the way to the end of the song. Fading is pretty much the same thing, except you do it at the beginning. So um, right here, when you have this little music note, you see this music note where the up and, the up and down arrows are? Press that and then press volume. The delay, the pin, the pin is basically like... Like how long you want to pan it. The volume right here, click this and then you want to click like where, how loud you want it to be. The master channel, if you, if you want to do it on all of them, you could be fine. But if you want to be fancy and actually have them all fade out at the same time, you just put in the master channel. Mm, excuse me, I got the hiccups. Okay, so right after that, we're going to click on this. When you see this line right here, left click on that. And then now you can actually have yourself a little bit of a fade out. When you want to actually... Uh, Drag it down. You basically just drag uh, by holding onto the keyboard by holding onto your mouse, the left belt, the left. And you just, you just press left click, and now you have a little bit of a fade out right there. So now we're gonna we're gonna plus the delay off. That'll still work. So we're gonna actually um we're gonna have this right here, and now we actually have ourselves our own fade out. So I'm gonna play this now. <laughs> So there we go. Now we have our own fade out. And if you want to see how fading in works, I'll show you that. So you go to the beginning of the song, you press volume again, then you actually um, if you want to fade, fade in, in, in after fading out, um, click this, click down again, and if you want to actually like have it like a straight folder right here, it does a little glitch a little bit sometimes, but now we have right here, you have to match it straight to the end. You have to match it straight to like this one, so it's a little off. So we're gonna drag it up a little bit more. So there we go. We have ourselves our own fade. And also, if you actually want to stop the drums a little bit or stop the beat a little bit when you have like a chorus coming in, like rap rappers doing their songs, um, this is how it works. So there we go. Now you guys have our own fill over fade in slash fade out. And that is the end of the video. If you press zero again, it might look like you uh, broke the entire song, but no, it still works. Let me just show you. I'm just gonna head all the way to the end, end of the end of the song right now, so you can actually see that it still works. All right, so that's good that we actually chose it like a shorter song, because if not, we had to scroll for a long time. So let's click on it here. If you see this right here, where the time, where like the arrow is on the uh, on the line right there. That's where you can put this, like, like to see these little squiggle lines that are underneath these numbers? That's where you want to type if you want to actually add, if you want to bring the, uh, the line all the way to you. So, let's see how it works. So, 
So there we go. Now we have ourselves our own fade out, and that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video and felt this guide, and you felt this guide was really helpful, make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on notifications so you can get notified for the newest videos on my channel. Thanks for watching. Peace.